Hi, this is Nalini Sharma for the Red Carpet Diary at the Toronto International Film Festival. And I'm here at the Visa Screening Room, which tonight hosted two world premieres of Appaloosa and Ghost Town. But over at Roy Thompson Hall, there was another premiere, The Secret Life of Bees. It's based on a novel by Sue Monk Kidd. And we were lucky enough to speak with the ensemble cast, great cast. We spoke to Dakota Fanning, Alicia Keys, and Queen Latifah. And it's wonderful to think that a lot of people are gonna be introduced to this story, but it does have a lot of emotional resonance in this story, you know, a lot of heart tug, and I was so hoping that the movie would capture it, so when I saw it two nights ago, I was convinced it did. It's, um, it's full of soul, full of heart. It was a long time coming before I got to film the movie because I had been kind of attached to the film for um, almost four years when we finally did it. So getting to actually be there filming it, I just felt so lucky to be able to, to do that. It's all kind of coming together today, getting to see it actually on the screen. I'm just really excited. I love, I love getting to see everybody again. I haven't seen Alicia in a while, so it was great to see her and to get to see the film too, since I haven't seen it yet. I really wanted to be a part of this from the beginning. It took on a couple of different phases, but when it came to me in its most recent phase that Gina wrote and directed, um, it just felt like a perfect description of the way you would do it from the book. And for me, I'm a fan of the book, and so I was really excited about it. It felt warm and honest. There was a lot of challenges in shooting this film. Uh, first of all, we, we were from Richmond, Virginia, and so there was a certain dialect that we all had to have, and we all had to definitely have a similar dialect. So we have Sophie, who's from London, myself, who's from New York, and Queen. Queen's actually, I think, from New York, too. So we both had our certain things that we would fall into. That was one. I had to learn the cello for this piece. So that was a very challenging part. Gina, the director, had a specific idea of a Bach piece that she wanted me to play, which is very difficult for a first-time cello player. It's a good thing I have musical background. Uh, I was able to pull it together, but that was difficult. And also just to really embody June and her arc. You know, she is someone that truly just um, starts somewhere and, and, and becomes something totally different. So it was a lot to really pull up on. It was definitely tough, especially in, in like my research and learning about the civil rights movement. Um, before then, I didn't really realize how intense it was and what America really went through but once I did my research it really moved me like wow I can't believe look how far we've come and, and it hasn't really been that long ago you know and that made it even more impact it was times where I couldn't even sleep at night because I went too deep into my research at that time I was, like, oh. I was afraid of the south and everything because the only image I had in my mind was of, of, of things well, that happened and took place in, in that time era. I felt like very comfortable in my own skin and in this role and I feel comfortable being like the big sister in a way and I don't think I've gotten a chance to really play too many roles like that so um, I mean it, it, all, all you have to do is kind of just be present in the moment and it, it automatically puts you where you need to be. It's human nature to be part of a community and that might be your family or people close to you I and mean, I haven't seen the movie yet so it's difficult to really speak about because I haven't seen it I'm going to see it now but um, yeah I think uh, yeah, your community is where your heart is. It makes you feel part of the, part of everything rather than separate entity. Dakota's, I mean, she's hilarious. I mean, she's really a funny. She's a funny girl. She's funny. So half the time she's making you laugh, or you know, she does such a good spirit. You know what I mean? So it's just great to have her and her family around and just work with them. It's cool. I kept waiting for you to break out in song in the film. <laughs> I was singing in my heart. <laughs>